And hello everybody, welcome to the first Randomon video. As this is the first episode, I will just quickly explain how it works. Firstly, this is a monthly competition I'm doing, mainly just to keep the channel active and just to keep everyone engaged really, it's just a random idea I came up with. So the details are randomly generated from an Excel document I've made. And the only thing I really need from you guys for the competition is a design or multiple designs. To see more information about this, such as the rules, please see the website I'll be in the description of this video. Anyway, let's get it started. Polyp can be found on the ocean floor. They are always sleeping, preparing for their inevitable evolution. Their mobility is lacking due to being grounded, but their predators are few. This is due to polyp containing a lethal venom, and also, if you get too close, its parents might come by. We just want to point out that some small changes were made for the Pokédex, mainly grammatical, but we still tried to retain the original material. Thank you, Mudkip. No probs. Polyp is small, but as the Pokédex says, it contains a, a very deadly venom. This design is quite creative. Strong silhouette and expanding further from its fairy type and then just being a fairy. Come to think about it, this is actually the first fairy type in the series so far. This Pokemon is designed from a polyp, polyp, which is a small cell clump that grows within your body, according to a quick Google search that is. So feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Going to the competitive side of this Pokemon, its stats are just abysmal. <laughs> but has Kamala's signature ability, Comatose or Comatose, which enables it to sleep talk or snore without needing to sleep. It also has a fairly good defense stat and speed, but other than that, it isn't spectacular. Come to think of it, why is it fast? Is it it's grounded? Although it may not be it will do much in the OU competitive scene, even with the Eviolite, it can be quite a threat in the Little Cup tier. Better watch out Stegomizer, you have competition. Nematurin are quite calm creatures. However, any creature that overstays their welcome in its territory, especially those that attack Polly, will be attacked by poisonous stingers. While male Nebaturin are more successful in the wild, female Nebaturin are widely regarded as the best behaved Pokemon in the sea. They instinctively know how to act when guests are present, as if they have been trained their entire lives. Nebaturin is actually quite an interesting Pokemon, as it reminds me a bit of um, Jellicent, Shinod... <clears throat> Shinotic? Shinotic? Okay, I'll admit, Gen 7 is still not I'm, I'm not very familiar with it. Are you serious? I know I had four years, shut up. Gen 7 has been a thing since 2016. And Hatterene. Yet you know the Galloper Cayman. Hatterene. Okay, can you just shut up please, Mudkip? Alright, but I think we know what gen you like more. <sighs> However, I would argue that this Pokemon is still unique and has an interesting concept behind it. Its name gives us details about this, being named after, forgive me for mispronouncing this, nematocysts, that are jellyfish stingers, and nuren, that means woman in Chinese. Again, I am sorry if I said those wrong. Now, I must state that this Pokemon has the original randomized details, so the artist had little to do with its competitive potential. The major stat this Pokemon has is its whopping 155 physical attack being on par with Mega Gyarados and Mega Pinsir. Yes, you had it right. This non-Mega Pokemon has a stat equal and better than some Megas. The only non-Mega or Legendaries that have greater attack would include Slacking with 160 attack and Rampardos with 165 attack. This added with a good 96 speed makes this Pokemon a pretty good sweeper. Saying this is mediocre defense and terrible special defense would make this Pokemon, well, I would consider this a glass cannon. For abilities, Hustle boosts this Pokemon's attack prowess at the cost of accuracy, whereas its hidden ability, Poison Touch, offers a defensive strategy to enable a chance of poisoning a target. 
This Pokemon, other than Seism Toad, is the only non poison type that has this ability. For moves, this Pokemon would be limited, only being able to use the few physical moves for Stab. However, it can set up with Sword Stance or take advantage of its pre evolution Sleep move set for a Rest Talk set. This Pokemon has many counters that would include bulky steel types like Metagross or faster attackers that, such as either forms of Shaman, Tentacruel or Dedene. Yes, Dedene. I want to say a big thank you and congratulations to L Connor 4 on Fake Monomino for submitting this entry. As you can see, these are the original drawings that I wanted to make a clean illustration for the video. Although I did ask this artist's permission to actually do this. Please be sure to check them out, links will be in the description. I would like to thank you all for watching this video. At the time of recording this, there is a competition on right now, but if this is up after 20th of September, then September's competition would be in the voting stage right now. This competition is at the moment being held on Facebook, Fakemon Amino, Instagram and Twitter. To enter for this competition, use the hashtag, hashtag randomon0920 for your work to be noticed. For more details, once again, please check out the website. I will put the link to the randomon page below. In the past, present or even future, I will see you there. Bye!